In this video, we're going to do something really cool. Well, I guess, you know, cool is relative, but I, I really like this. So what we're going to do is fix this display date text box, because right now, the user has to come in here and, you know, type in some date. But what I want to do is give them a little calendar that will pop up, and they can just pick a date off the calendar. So to do that, we're going to add an Ajax control. But I also want to show you this real quickly. You know, I've got another video that shows you how to do this in detail, but I ran into this. There's a new version of the Ajax toolkit. And to get this, if you go to this Ajax control toolkit .codeplex.com, you can get the new version here. Just come over here, click on the download button, and you'd install it just like you installed the old one. Um, in fact, if you've got the old one in there, you, you know, delete that tab with those controls and stick these new ones in here. And if you need help doing this, again, I've got a whole other video on this, but maybe you can just go to this page. ASP.NET slash Ajax library slash ACT.ASHX and this has the instructions for getting that toolkit installed. Okay, so once you have the toolkit installed, it's relatively easy to add this control. Um, and what I want to do is add it to this display date box. And But to do this, I actually need a text box. So we can add this calendar extender to any text box but you have to be able to see it. And so again, what we need to do here is what we've done before, is if I can't see my text box, I need to come in and crack crack it open. So we'll go to Edit Fields, then go to Display Date, and convert it to a template field. Say OK. And then we'll go back to the Source View. And now, up here for Display Date, we'll see it's built a template. And I can now see the text box. And this is where we're inserting a new one. So I want it, this insert template. I don't want the edit template or the item template. And in here, all I'm going to do is come in here and then grab a calendar extender. Put it up here. And then um, I have to do a couple things here. Actually, let's just run it now with just this in here. So we'll save this. Reload the page. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to do one other thing. We have to tell it which text box we want this, when somebody clicks on this, which text box do we want the date to go in. And that's with this target control ID. And so we want to make sure this is the same ID as this one. You know, we really should rename this to run the generic text box one. I'm going to call it TXT display date. And so we'll change this to also match that. TXT display date. And so we'll save that. And reload the page here. So with that much, watch what happens when I click in this box now. It pops up the calendar. And as soon as I click on a date, it sticks that in there. And it calendar goes away. So let's just leave it there for now for this one. Then we'll come back and extend this a little bit and also uh, add it to the rest of our other controls when we're done.